Underdogs, it's Stacy from Underdog Wellness and I come to you today with a really basic Pilates mat workout. Um, this is going to be for not newbie beginners, but if you're a beginner to intermediate, this is going to be for you and we're going to do this in real time. So um, make sure you have a mat, you don't need any equipment, and we're going to come lengthwise on our mat and start with the hundred. So we roll ourselves all the way down. Try to adjust your head. Before we do the 100, we'll do a little bit of a warm up. So make sure your head is comfortable. You don't feel like your chin is jammed or your neck is jammed. We walk the feet back so that our knees are over our heels. We're gonna start with some pelvic tilts. So I'm gonna move my arms so you can see we're just gonna rock the pelvis. And one more time, just warming up the spine a little bit. Good. And then let's hug our knees into our chest and just rock a little side to side. Come back to center. Place the feet right back where they were. And then from here, we have the option of bringing the legs up, the chest up, or neither, or all, sorry. <laughs> So we're gonna float the hands first, really reach them long towards the wall. We can lift the head and shoulders. This might be enough for us here. We could come to a tabletop position or we could go a little bit higher with our legs. It's entirely up to us, but we're gonna pump these arms. So we inhale, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. And, and in, 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 and and stop right there, hug everything in, roll the head down, rock it side to side. Come back to center. The roll up, we send our legs long on our mat, flex those feet, so no pointing, flex them. Dig them into the ground, hug them together tight, pull the abs in nice and tight. Fingertips go to the ceiling and then we're gonna plug our shoulders into the mat. So see how my shoulders are kind of off the mat here? We're gonna plug them in. Looking at your thumbs, looking at the ceiling. Inhale, we start to move the body and we come up. Legs should not come off the mat, roll forward. And inhale, dig the heels into the ground as you roll back. Slow, 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 slow. And again, inhale. Not flinging or throwing ourselves about. And exhale. If you're having difficulty getting off the mat, this might be where you are today and this is totally fine. And you roll it right back down. Let me show you that again. It's just here, that's it. Right back down. So we're not rushing to get up. It should be nice and slow. You will get stronger. And let's do one more. Here we go. And down nice and slow and slow and slow and scooping that belly. Arms to the ceiling and they come right back down by our sides for a one leg circle. We're gonna bend the left leg and we're gonna kind of push that right hip away from us. We don't want it jammed up towards our armpit. We wanna send that out and then we're gonna send the leg up. Now let's do a little stretch. Grab the hamstring or the calf, whatever works for you. And again, we're trying to keep this hip as far away from our shoulder as possible. From here, let's line the knees up together. Plug the hands and plug the shoulders in and we'll circle the leg and we'll just let those knees brush each other. Brush, brush. Now, if you want to, you can send the leg all the way down. And again, it's just a circle. We should feel like our abs are nice and flat, almost like we could hold a cup of coffee filled to the brim extra hot <laughs> and not spill it on ourselves. Let's reverse it, go the other way. And two, and three. Breathing all the time, four, 
and five, six, seven, and eight. Let's see if we can stretch again, either with this leg extended or it can be bent, totally fine. And let's lengthen that leg all the way down. We'll start with a bent knee and we'll bring the leg up and stretch. So this is where we started on the other side. We'll do the same thing. Notice if this hip is hiking and we're gonna push it down. And by down, I mean away from the ear. So that direction. All right, let's line those knees up again. Do a couple here. So we circle. The knees brush each other. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, reverse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretching one more time. And lower that leg all the way down. So long legs, flex those feet. Fingertips to the ceiling. We're gonna roll up. So again, if this was you before and you're stuck and you need to get up, bend those knees. Get yourself up. Even if you had to kind of cheat a little, that's totally fine. Rolling like a ball. For rolling like a ball, I like to move up because I like to have lots of mat behind me for the spine to roll. Options here, you can do this with your hands underneath your knees and you just balance here. You're gonna try and keep your feet down, not flinging about, or you can put your hands on your ankles a little bit more advanced, trying to keep those heels and ankles close to your bottom. Back should be rounded, so we don't wanna be here, because if we go down, we're stuck, that's it. So, we're gonna try and stay rounded. Looking at our own belly, we rock back and up, back and up. Head and feet don't touch the ground, so you just roll to the tips of your shoulder blades and you try not to throw those legs away from you. But sometimes if we're new at something, that can be a challenge, that's okay. Just know what you're aiming towards, what your goal is, and then that's it. We're gonna let the feet touch the ground, we're gonna scooch back just a little bit, going into the series of five. So we're gonna roll down, and as we come down, we're gonna keep the shoulders lifted if we can. If that bothers your neck and you would rather be here, that's okay, stay right here, and you're just gonna gaze at the ceiling. I'm gonna lift my head and shoulders up, sending the left leg out to, you can go straight to the ceiling or a diagonal. We're gonna put the left hand on the right knee, right hand goes to your ankle, and we pull, 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 pull. It's not a twist, you're keeping your chest level with the ceiling. Elbows are wide, we're just pulling those legs in, Last and come in. If you need to rest your head for a moment, you can. Double leg, we bring it out. Swoop the arms around and touch. And out. At no point do you lay down here unless that's how you're doing the exercise. Then you don't lift up. So my head and shoulders stay lifted throughout. Last one, right here. Legs go to the ceiling, straight leg. We're gonna pull, pull, switch. Pull, 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 pull. Little stretch of the hamstring there. Flex the feet for a little extra. Pull, 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 pull. Notice my leg doesn't almost touch the ground. It stays pretty high, because that's the only flexibility I have. That's as close as it can get to my face is the same distance. And that's it, so we lower down. My neck's getting a little tired, I'm just gonna rock it side to side. We've got two more exercises in this series. The lower lift. Options here, if you're taking care of your back, your back gets a little tweaky, you're gonna take both your hands and scooch them right underneath your bottom. There's nothing wrong with that if it helps you do this more successfully. Otherwise, we can take our hands, stack them one on top of each other, make a little hammock for your head to rest in, Elbows are nice and wide here, and we're lifted. Legs are gonna go to the ceiling, that's everybody. It doesn't matter what you're doing with your hands. And you're gonna send the legs out to hold. Keep your belly nice and flat, and bring them up on one. Out to hold. 
upon one. Notice my booty doesn't lift on that lift. So right here, my booty doesn't come off the ground. I just bring the legs up, two, down, lift it up, one more, out, two, down, lift it up. Let's hug it in. We're gonna reverse that, but we're just taking a little break. That's a long enough break, here we go. <laughs> Stack those hands or put them back underneath your bottom, depending on how you did the other one. Legs go to the ceiling, this time they go out on one. And we lift, 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 out on one. Lift, 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 out on one. Lift, 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 out on one. It's exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, two, and bring it in. Very nice, a little wiggle around. Stack those hands, let your head rest, that's everybody. Head can stay on the ground or lifted, but either way, elbows are wide. Legs go to a tabletop, so a nice 90 degree angle with the legs, and go there. Knee over hip, and we're gonna Chris, so we're not gonna move the legs at first. We're just gonna go one side, center, come a little higher. Other side, a little higher. Side, higher, side, higher. Side, oh, that higher is where you feel it. Here we go, we go adding a leg, center, adding a leg, lift. Add a leg, lift, add a leg, lift, add a leg, lift. Add a leg, lift. Add, speed it up. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Try to stay off your shoulders, really lifting throughout. You should definitely feel this. Last one and hug it in. Oh my goodness. All right, let's rock or roll ourselves up. I'm gonna roll, so I'm gonna take my legs long. Fingertips up, I'm gonna peel and lift, but I am getting tired, so I definitely <laughs> felt that one. All right, so we're gonna come to our mat. We're gonna let our feet separate just a little bit, but they're not as wide as the mat. They're still kind of inside. And then we could scooch our booty out of the way so that we're able to sit nice and tall through our spine. We're not tilted backwards here, okay? If you tilt back, pop your knees. What your legs are doing, not important. It's what your spine and belly are doing, okay? So we're here. Imagine a wall behind you that you're sitting against your beautiful posture. Send those arms out and then plug the shoulders in. Keep the arms and fingers loose. You can even open palms to the ceiling if you want to. We inhale, exhale, chin to your chest, nose to the navel, crown of the head to the mat. Arms are still pretty high. And then we stack up the vertebra super tall. Here we go, exhale, chin to chest, nose to navel, crown of the head, and stack it up. Chin to chest, nose to navel, stack, pull the belly back, and stack, stack, stack. And when I say stack, we're stacking up those vertebra. We're making our spines taller and taller and tallest. Again, bring it down and lift, lift, lift. One more time. Arms stay high and we lift, lift, lift. Very nice, good. We're gonna bring the feet together Dig those heels into the ground. Roll yourself down, 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 down. Good. I'm gonna come back into the center of my mat. If you need to adjust yourself, you can. All right. So from here, let's go into open leg rocker. So we'll come up. We didn't have to roll all the way down. That was my bad. <laughs> so options here. Let's start with our hands underneath our knees. We're gonna float the feet up, trying to get them parallel to the floor. From here, we wanna get a nice proud chest, so we don't wanna be collapsing and hanging on to our legs, we wanna be up. And then we can practice lengthening and lengthening. And lift and lift. So option here, rocking back, and up, being able to put those brakes on and not let those legs fall. Keeping the chest nice and proud. It's nice and lifted. Think of a soldier. Think of that pride. Even a ballerina, they always lift it. Here we go. Good. Now, option two. 
We'll let those feet come down, but our knees are apart. They're about shoulder distance apart. Your knees line up with your shoulders. We're gonna take our hands on the inside of our ankles and a little bit of flexibility here. We're gonna send a leg up, test it out, and take it down. And up, and take it down. So we're just testing the waters to see, will our legs straighten? And if they do, do we collapse? Okay, if you've fallen back like this, then you're not ready for that. So then you can just kind of do this with hands underneath your knees. So you could go straighten and straighten, but you're trying to keep your chest lifted, okay? So options are, you could do the next part like this, you could go back to this, or we can try and hold the ankles, but we're trying to stay nice and tall here. Feet are shoulder distance apart. We're not way out here with our legs. We're keeping it reined in a little. Here we go. We rock back and up. Find that balance. Back and up. Nice lifted, proud chest. <laughs> back and up. Two more. Back and up. Last one. Back and hold, 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 hold. Let those legs, actually let's bring them together. We'll do a little open close. Let's test out our balance, open close. Just open and close. And then close them, let go. Find a first teaser of the day. Legs stay where they are, we roll down. And then you can hug your knees into your chest, like so. Why don't we all do that? <laughs> Just wiggle and rock it out. All right, and then the corkscrew. So for the corkscrew, options are hands underneath our bottom, protecting that back again, or just nice palms by our sides. We're gonna keep the head on the ground, keep gazing at the ceiling, and send those legs into the air. This time there's an external rotation of the hips. You're gonna rotate those hips and your heels are gonna to touch together, but your feet will be apart like that. Here we go. We're gonna to draw toes to the nose, circle to the right, around, left, center, left, around, right, center, right, around, left, center. So that's our corkscrew. We're just going one in one direction and then we reverse it, keeping those legs glued together, keeping them as straight as possible. Last one. Nice. And we can hug. And then we can rock ourselves up for the saw. So we'll take up our mat again. Again, feet are inside the mat, moving booty out of the way, able to sit very tall here. Now the arms are gonna come straight out to the sides. We inhale super tall and we're gonna twist. And then we reach, reach, Reach. Notice how my arms are parallel. They're going in opposite directions. They haven't collapsed. It's not way back behind here. It's not out here. We're just reaching. And then we inhale tall again. We're going to twist at the waistline. Twist, twist, twist. And again, we reach, reach, reach. Inhale, twist, and reach. Pull the belly back as you reach the hand forward. It's not a bounce or anything like that. We reach, reach, reach. Inhale up, twist, and reach, reach, reach. You could start to turn the head if you wanted to. And we reach, reach, reach. Come on up, bring those hands forward, bring those feet forward. Let's roll it down, scoop the belly, roll, 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 roll. There we go. Coming back into the center of the mat, we're gonna turn over. So we're on our belly. Going into swan dive, single leg kicks and double leg kicks. So for swan dive, we're gonna let the chest come down. And why don't we just kind of shimmy the hips, just give a little movement, a little shake. All right, so we're gonna lengthen the left leg a little longer, right leg a little longer. And the hands are right next to our chest. So our elbows are up to the sky <laughs> and our hands are right next to our chest. Nose is just gonna touch the mat or hover just above the mat, but that's where our face is. Our head is in line with our spine. 
We're going to pull the powerhouse in, abdominals pulled in, and float the hands off the ground. Give them a little wiggle. Come a little higher. Hands go back to the mat. Press up a little higher. Not too high because you want to be able to let go and not collapse to the ground. Come down. So we lift up. Hands back to the mat. Press up. Release. Lengthen the spine as you lower. It's up. Hands to the mat. Lift. Release. And lengthen. 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 We lift up. Hands back to the mat. Lift up. Release. Lengthen. 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 One more lift. Press a little higher. Release. And lengthen. 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 Nice. Now from here, we're going to prop ourselves up. We've got our elbows directly below our shoulders. You can make prayer, you can make fists, you can clasp your hands, whatever you prefer. <clears throat> I like fists. Bring the legs together to touch, so they should be kissing together. And then we want to check that we're not collapsing. See how I just collapsed down there like I'm a bored teenager? Lift, 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 lift. So you're digging those elbows into the ground. Double kick your left leg. So we kick, kick, release. Kick, kick, release. Kick, kick, release. Kick, kick, make them longer. Kick, kick, lengthen. Kick, kick, lengthen. Kick, kick, lengthen. Kick, kick, lengthen. One more. Lengthen. Kick, kick, lengthen. Very good. Keep hugging those legs together. We're going to let our face come down to the mat so we have our right cheek or left cheek, whatever it is. You're going to make three fingers. Wrap them around. The other hand is going to grasp those fingers. And then you're going to bring your hands as high up as they'll go, but your elbows fall towards the floor. Okay, so the legs are going to work in unison. Okay, as if they were attached to each other. So we triple kick the bottom. It's a kick, 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 lengthen, turn your head, lift, and kick, 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 lengthen, and turn. Kick, 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 lengthen, and turn. Kick, 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 lengthen, and turn. Kick, 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 lengthen. This is our last one right here. Kick, kick, kick. Lengthen and hold, nice and high, squeeze those shoulder blades, a little stretch, and lower down. Hands come underneath the chest. Let's push back to a child's pose, a little rest position. Stretch the back out. You can rock a little side to side if you'd like. And then we'll come back up, and we're gonna turn ourselves around. All right. So coming here, we're going to do a little bit of neck pull, but we're not going to do the full thing. So what we want to do is we're going to separate our feet. Again, they're still on the mat. We're going to take our hands and we're going to stack them one on top of each other, placing those at the base of the spine, at the base of the skull, top of the spine. Elbows are wide. So we're going to dive the head down, stack ourselves up, lift nice and top. Again, dive, keep those elbows wide. Lift, lift, lift. One more time, dive. And lift, lift, lift. Let's go ahead and pop the knees. Let's dive again. And then this time when we lift and we're tall, we're gonna roll it down, down. Keep those elbows wide. Straighten your legs if you want to. Control all the way down. Very nice adjusting so that we're on the center of the mat. Walk the feet in. Feet are going to be fairly close to the bottom. Knees are over ankles and we're comfortable here. Collarbones are open, shoulders plugged in, arms by our sides. Let's rock the pelvis and release it. Rock it towards you and release it. Just checking in with that back, seeing how the spine is feeling. Now this time, let's roll it and just hold the roll. Just hold that scoop. And then you're gonna try and push your feet away. They don't go anywhere. Press your hands into the ground, but by pushing the feet away, it helps you to really float that pelvis off the ground. There's our bridge. And we're gonna hold. And then we're gonna melt it. So keep your bottom nice and high, but start to melt every vertebra down, down, down. You'll feel the quads stretching out. Don't let them open up too far. Let it release. Let's do it again. Curl, push your legs away, lift, float, float, float. 
nice and high. Let's breathe here. And then we're going to melt. So keep your bottom lifted, but start to melt each vertebra one at a time. Down, down, down. And again, curl and lift. And down, 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 down. Let's do one more. Curl and lift. And down, 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 down. Very nice. Let's roll to the side for the side kicks. We're going to prop the head in the hand so we have a nice long elbow. But our feet are going to go to the front corner. So if we were lined up on the edge of the mat or with this wall back here, our elbow, there we go. Now elbow, shoulder, and our bottom are all on this back edge or right along there. But the feet come forward. Abs are pulled in, and we're going to try and send this leg away so that it's not jammed up. You see that curve there? We're trying to lengthen that out so that our pelvis stays nice and level and even. It's not wonky. Hand can be in front for support, kind of reminding you to keep those abs pulled in, and the shoulder stays down. We're going to float this top leg up just so that it's in line with that hip again, and we're going to go front front, lengthen it back. But when I lengthen it back, I don't want to go so far back that my body tilts, okay? We just go far enough that everything stays level. And we go front, front, and back. It's flex, flex, and point. Flex, flex, and point. Flex, flex, and point. Let's go one more. Flex, flex, point, let's hold it. So get it back, but again, don't move the body. Just hold the point and come back. All right, lower lift. We're gonna bring it up again, only to the point where my hip doesn't come up with me and lower, lower, lower. It's a float and lower, lower, lower. Imagining or trying to make that leg longer, longer, longer. Bring it up and longer, 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 longer 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 now it's up to three float it down lift 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 float it down lift 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 and down lift 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 controlling all the time last one lift 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 and down small circles we're just going to click the heels together we're talking about maybe the size of a dinner platter a little bit Bigger than a plate, unless you prefer it smaller. Let's reverse it. Two, and again, each time make that leg longer and longer and longer. And lower it down. Very nice. Let's sit up. We're going to shake it out. And then we'll do the other side. So you've got to swing your legs to the other side. So we start with that head in our hands, elbow, shoulder, bottom. And then those feet come to the front corner. Going for that long hip, that long leg, abs pulled in, and the shoulder stays pulled back. Everything is stacked on top of each other. Here we go. We go front, front, and back. Flex, flex, and point. Flex, flex, and point. Flex, flex, and point. Two more. Flex, flex, and point. Last one, and point. Bring it back. Well, actually, we're going to hold it for just a moment. And then we bring it back. Here we go. Keeping that hip nice and long, we bring it up and down. Two, three. Float it up, down. Two, three. Making it longer each time. I'm trying to reach past that foot. Up and flex. Two, three. Last one, and flex. Two, three. And then it's up, up up and down, up, up, up and down, up, up, up and down, two more, up, 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 down, last one, and down, small circle, two, three, four, five, reverse, two, three, four, five, nice. Good, let's come on up and shake it out again. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, teaser time. We're gonna come back onto our mat, starting out with bent knees. 
And we're gonna make sure our feet are not too close to our bottom. So I have a lot of space here. I'm gonna go even further. Send those feet away. Here we go. We're rolling down. Line yourself up, feel like you're nice and even. Chest is squared to the ceiling. We're gonna send the arms out in front of us and we're gonna even flip the palms so they face the ceiling. This will help to keep our shoulders back into their sockets. Hopefully, sometimes when we flip this way, the shoulders really wanna come out of their sockets. We wanna keep them plugged in. So here we go. We're gonna come up, maybe that's as far as we can go, and down. And up, hold, keep those abs engaged, back down. Maybe we're able to go higher, and that's okay. If you're able to go higher, though, it looks and feels effortless. Your feet don't come off the ground. It shouldn't be a struggle or a flinging or a throwing your body around. As I said at the beginning, you will get stronger. Here we go, last one. Ah, so if you need to cheat, I'm not watching you. Come on up, make sure you're just up. You are on a diagonal here. And let's send a leg out. So the knees stay glued together. We have a nice long leg and it stays right where it is. It does not lift or lower. So it doesn't drop down to help you up <laughs> and it doesn't come up here, okay? So glue those knees together. We float and down. Wiggle those fingers, float and down. Again, cheat now if you need to. Throw yourself up if you have to, I'm not watching, but then get in really good position. One leg meets the other. Lower the right leg. Five more, we roll down. And at this point, you might, getting to, might be getting tired. So this side, probably not as pretty as the other one. Maybe you were able to get up for all of them. And now it's getting harder, or maybe you can't. That's okay, it's okay. It's better to dial it back and use good form than become sloppy. So even if it's not all the way, come as high as you can, have the legs meet, hug them in, <laughs> roll it down. We won't torture ourselves too much more. Let's wiggle those ankles and rock yourself side to side. Teasers are hard, <laughs> so congratulate yourself. Here we go. We're gonna come up and we're gonna roll around onto our belly to go swimming. So for swimming, we have nice long arms and legs. All right, we're gonna lift the left leg, make it longer, lift the right leg, make it longer. And then your arms are sometimes usually out of their sockets, so these we're not gonna make longer. We're actually gonna try and pull our shoulders into their sockets. Did you see how my hands, they were out here, and then when I did that, they're here? That's where we want our shoulders to be. We don't want them out of their sockets. From here, we lift ourselves up, everything floats, and we pump those arms and legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower down. Let's take a little child's pose there. Push it back, let it rest. All right, let's come on up. Going into mermaid, we're gonna do just like this. We're gonna try and hug our legs in, stacking on the side. If this is just uncomfortable for you, your knees don't feel comfortable, you feel like you're gonna fall over, a couple of options, one, is just to spread the legs out a little bit more, like so. If that still bothers you, you got this option. We're just gonna do a lateral side to side, so it doesn't matter exactly what your legs are doing, okay? So just find what's comfortable for you. If you are here, you're gonna put your left hand out, or touch, hold on, right hand lifts. So we're gonna go tall and we're gonna go over Feel that stretch straight through that side. Doesn't matter what position you're in, you're still getting that stretch. Take it over. And one more time. See if we can go just a little deeper without collapsing. So we're still up and over. And then let's rotate and gaze towards the ceiling. So roll the arm back. Come on up to a T. Let's control as we come down. 
and then we'll roll towards the ceiling, stretching. Use those abs, use that powerhouse to pop yourself up and lower the arms down. We're just gonna switch the legs. So we can send them out to a teaser and tuck them in. So again, you can be here or you could be here, okay? Whichever works best for you. So we're holding on. We're gonna lift out tall this way. Bring it over, not too far. Come right back up. And over a little further. Right back up. And over as far as you can. Hold this one, rotate towards the ceiling. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Come on up to that T and come on down. Once you're there, roll towards the ceiling. And come on up, lower down. Very nice. All right, for the seal, we're gonna scoot to the front of the mat because we're rolling on the spine again and we want a lot of padding and mat behind us. This is like being a child again. Think of like five or six year old. Have a sense of humor and it's okay if it doesn't work for you. So I'm gonna show you lots of options here. So first things first, our feet are together. And we're gonna make a prayer with our hands and we're gonna cup the outside of the ankles. So we'll try to come back to a balance. Maybe your feet are on the ground, that's totally fine. Otherwise we're on a balance, okay? So that's number one. Number two, if your feet are on the ground, you're just gonna kind of practice rolling and so just rounding the spine, okay? And that's what you can play with. If you're able to get your legs up, we've got an option where you can just roll back and forth. Or you can clap, clap, clap. The arms do the work. Rock back, clap, 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 clap. clap. Or maybe you're just here and you're just practicing the clapping. <laughs> Whatever works for you. All right, that's what we'll do today. And then the other thing we'll add is we'll just bring the feet down. Feet are touching. We can make a prayer or we can hold on with our fingers. And we can reach just a little stretch, feel that inner thigh. We'll come back and forward so it's just a rocking back and forth we're not laying down or anything just rocking back and forth getting that nice stretch and there we go good let's come open so we're going to send the legs out and we're going to get them nice and energized so we're going to let the feet flex feel the legs stretch if you need to pop your knees, you can, okay? If you're feeling pressure behind the knee, definitely back off this. I like to start with my hands behind and I like to lift my chest up. A lot of us tend to collapse here. So use your hands to lift your chest, become as tall as you can, and you should feel an inner thigh stretch. As long as you're feeling that stretch, you're good to go. You shouldn't have pain in your back, behind your knee. Definitely something working on the inner thighs but that's it. And then you can scooch with your hands and start to push yourself forward. And again, that just intensifies that stretch through there. That's okay, that's a good thing. Maybe you're more flexible and maybe you can bring your hands out in front. And all that entails is just what I showed you. Your hands just moved, that's it. You didn't pull yourself, you didn't drag, you didn't drop your head. Just feel the stretch there. Maybe someone's flexible and they can put their elbows down. When I do that, I can start to feel my back round. So I'm gonna stay higher because I want a lengthened spine. It's not about touching my elbows or my nose or anything to the floor if my back did one of these, okay? We wanna have nice, lengthened, long vertebra and good posture. We'll take one more breath here and we'll come on up. From there, we'll put our hands underneath our knees and just kind of bring those legs together. And we'll take a nice cross-legged position. Just kind of wiggle it around. See how you're feeling, checking in with your breath. 
and I hope you like that class. Thank you so much for joining me and join me the next time we're gonna do yin yoga. It's gonna be our next class. It's gonna be a full yin yoga class, about 45 minutes to an hour, complete relaxation. So I hope you'll join me. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.